guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Well, I am going to do another Fab Artist inspired painting. And it's going to be Sarah Mack. And she has um, a video. It's called Baroque. And it's an absolute gorgeous wrecked ring pour. I never wreck pours. <laughs> so this is going to be... Uh, quite uh, interesting. So my colors, I mixed these two to make permanent violet dark and I got that information from Jamie created that. She's she's so smart, that girl. And she's got she's an absolutely wonderful artist. So these two together make permanent violet dark, which is this. Ta da my paints are fairly thick tonight. I, another thing I'm not used to, so it'll all go well. I also have permanent violet red. Permanent red violet, sorry. <laughs> and that's this one here. And we have light turquoise phthalo from Golden and I've mixed it with Color Shift from Folk Art in Aqua Flash. So that's this color right here. And I have 24 karat gold by Decoart. You can, as you can see, I've used these quite a bit. And all of these are mixed with Floetrol and I don't think there's any water in any of them. We have Nickel Azo Gold. It's luscious. I love this. Oh, so it's so cool, all the things it does. And I have Turquoise Thalo. I'm sorry, no, it's Prussian Blue. And I mixed a little carbon black in it and it looked a, still not quite right, so I did put some turquoise phthalo in it. And that's this color. Really beautiful. Dark lusciousness. And I also have golden iridescent pearl fine. And that would be this one here. It's beautiful. But I noticed it did need a little help so I did mix up some, this is just Artist Loft soft body acrylic. There we go. And that's it. I'm not even going to bother um, painting over this. I'm going to put just the tiniest amount of white, then the iridescent. Then the Conductor Nicolaza Gold. And Permanent Violet Red. Permanent Red Violet. And then the Permanent Violet Dark. And then some gold. I knew I'd do that. <laughs> and then I'm going to put some white right over this. And we don't have any turquoise yet. Let's do the turquoise. Alright, I'm going to put a little bit of gold in the center. 
I have this for the This for these glow extender. And, whoa, Wilbur. Jesus. <laughs> nice start, Michelle. <laughs> oh my gosh, now it's slippery. Alright, here we go. Right there. Voila, lots of white at the bottom, which isn't bad. I don't want too much white in the center. Low extender around it. I tried wrecking a few things before and it didn't go well. <laughs> nope. But I did study her video and uh, these are completely different colors. So I don't, when I grab inspiration from somebody, um, I always try to make it my own, which I encourage you to also. I don't know if this is going to go well or not. I'm not sure I like those colors. Like right here. When I was at the Fab, I ended up with one of Sarah's boxes that she couldn't take with her. And in that was one of these. So I'm going to... Don't want to mess with that too much. All right, here we go. We're going to tilt.
I still want to get some more of this off. Whoa, there we go again. I hit it again. All right. I wish I could keep that. Maybe I should just pour over it. I think I'll pour over it. Oh, I've got to mix some more white. I will be back. Oh, man. All right, I'm going to figure this out. All right, guys, this is round two. I absolutely love this here. So I'm going to try and create more of that. And I'm going to do that with this. So let's try again. This time I'm going to put a tiny bit of the pearl and then a tiny bit of the white instead of doing what I did before. A bit more of this. Some permanent violet red. Here we go. 16 ounce cup, 20 by 20 canvas. Here we go. That's much better. Oh yes, oh yes. Well, I don't have to worry about any flow extender, that's for sure. All right, I'm just gonna let this sit for a minute or two. Oh my gosh, it's so much better. Do I wreck it? I have to. I said I was going to. Oh, so hard to wreck that. It looks like a sunset. Oh my God. I don't know if I can. What do I do, guys? Just gonna let it sit. <laughs> yep, I'm just gonna let it sit. Didn't realize it wasn't in frame. I don't know if I can wreck it, guys. I just don't know. There we go. off if I didn't wreck it. Oh, like perfect fingerlings. No, I don't know. 
Never had a center like that before. that I love this It's not your typical um, straight pour. I don't hate it. It's funny. Sometimes when I say I don't hate it, <clears throat> that means like I like it, but I don't love it. But um, then sometimes the next day I go back and I'm like, are you kidding me? That looks awesome. So we'll see. We'll see what tomorrow brings, eh? I just really love these lines. And, oh, they're starting to get crooked. And the Cornacridon necklace of gold. And it's different. I like different. I'm kind of a different kind of gal. And then sometimes I wake up the next morning and say, oh my God, I hate it. It's not horrible though, because I like that there's this here and this here. And I like that it's kind of off center. And I like that um, it's unusual. you miss Michelle look what you did holy crap I like it it's not it's different it's not wow all right let's see how it dries it's gonna dry darker too I need to start doing some really bright colored paintings <laughs> I've got a lot of dark in mine, but um, this is really cool. That looks like a dunes or something. <laughs> 
you know, in the desert. That's so cool. And I love how they, these here like have little tips of the quinacridone necklace of gold. All right, I'm going to um, clean up, give it a, another shot of fire. And um, <laughs> it's, this is wild. I kind of love it. All right, I'll see you guys in a few. All right, guys. So this is my version <laughs> of a wrecked ring pour. Um, yeah, I just stretched the bejesus out of it. So I'm sure a moth is going to be coming by any second now. But I got some really cool little pearls down there. Multicolored. Yeah, I couldn't wreck it at first because it just looked too pretty. It looked like a sunset. I wish I could have kept that composition. But... I'm not crying. And look at these pearls. Oh, it's so colorful. Yeah, so look at that. Are you kidding me? It looks like a sand down. Gotta love that Quinacridone Nicolais of Gold things it does. Like look at the tips of these. The purple and the aqua. Oh shoot. I've never poured anything like this before. Kind of loving it. So I didn't wreck it with a stick. I didn't wreck it any other way than stretching the hell out of it. So, sorry, Sarah. <laughs> this is my wrecked ring pour. Hi guys, this is the dried results. Look at that. So very happy. It is daytime here, so it's noisy. <laughs> Look at those, just beautiful. But it kind of reminds me of Nebula. And I was kind of researching them yesterday and it was kind of like a crab nebula. But this is the part that it's like, oh my God, how did that happen? But I'm glad it did. Anyhow, this is the dried results. Please be safe and create. Please like, share and subscribe and ciao for now.